for that in my ears. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope we're all doing good. So, as you've all probably noticed, that the name of this channel has now changed. Well, that's for people that are returning, that have already seen the yeah. channel. For people who are new, you won't know any different. And a different. So, yeah. So, we decided to change things up and just make this channel a joint channel, basically. Anyway, do you want to go into detail about this video? Yeah, like, go on then. So, I was doing my first ever contest prep this year for a junior men's physique show. However, the actual prep has come to an end because there are a load of, like, behind the scenes yeah. issues that came up in the prep that I won't, we won't, I won't go into. But my plan basically changed and I'll be competing, planning on competing in April 2021 yeah. instead. It basically just wasn't the right time. Mm. So Ben took the camera because he wanted to film the journey. Still filmed the journey, like the a lot of it. filmed, um, which you'll see like some of the footage mm. in a minute. So basically this video is gonna be how I structured my diet during prep, how the kind of foods I was eating, um, how I was feeling during prep and how I was training. Predominantly, it will be training based with most of the times I took videos. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you'll see check-ins and stuff like morning check-ins, daily check-ins and how my physique changed progressively. So if that's something that interests you, then brilliant, you'll like this video or hopefully you'll like this video. If you're more interested in seeing lots of abs, then maybe swipe off this video because it's just gonna be no, pretty still much all about me. But yeah, so this is just gonna be a little bit of my prep journey, which obviously even though I'm not competing, still a load of practice and I've gained a lot of critical insight into actually how I'm gonna go about doing it next year. Because I think you'll see how mentally I change and how I go from being literally from when, like when I left Abby's with the camera I was so positive so so positive and then that one week wasn't it one week so much happened personally physically mentally, mentally there were other circumstances that just destroyed the whole love for the process mm. and actually it might be good for some people to see the signs you should look out for yeah. and signs that I should have clocked onto earlier. So enough's been said about like what the video's gonna entail. Here we go, let's, let's just show them what the video's about. Bye. There we go. So, I thought I would do a little update for everyone. Currently in my garden, as you can see. Feeling much better in my physique. Had quite a few changes recently. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail into what they are, what they were, doesn't matter move on we push on there was a big scare that I wasn't going to be doing my competitions in the upcoming weeks um, still unsure as to whether or not I'll be conditioned enough to do the first one but that's not an issue I do believe I'm going to be conditioned enough to do the second show so hopefully I will be on stage this year um, today however is a refeed day which means that my carbs have gone up bring my fats down just a little bit just to compensate and yeah, meeting more around maintenance calories just for one day, it's kind of like a diet break. You just need, you need to include a little diet break, otherwise it can just be so mentally exhausting being on such a strenuous prep. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film a couple of my meals today just to show you guys just some basic ones. Yeah, and just some differences because I'm also introducing some foods that I haven't eaten for quite some time. So yeah, very exciting. Basically, as it's refeed day, I'm allowed to introduce some things that I don't eat on a normal day of dieting. So obviously bread has been out of my diet now for probably like a good two months now. I haven't been eating bread. Yeah, about two months I haven't been eating bread. So just a couple slices on refeed day will be lovely because I love bread. I'm gonna have it with my omelet and then I'm gonna train a client. And then I'm going to have my protein pancakes go to the gym. I probably won't film the protein pancakes, so I've done that to death. Just know that I'm having more of it, which is exciting. And I'm also thinking of having some fruit, because I haven't had fruit in ages. Because fruit's been cut, so. Okay, so we just got to the gym. I'm training with Rob, strong game as Rob. You'll see him in the video, so I'm sure. Uh, hoodies, they also do the white and yellow, but I love the clean black white look of these so uh yeah we're hitting shoulders today so let's get into the session Everyone. 
excuse the hair. I've not been up too long. Literally just woke up, came downstairs to do work this morning. It's currently 20 to seven. I've uh, been up since about half past five. So I was gonna do a little update, but I can't remember what I was gonna do, or what I was gonna say. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so basically today, plan is I have got clients 12 till two to train. Obviously I gotta do my morning walk, but recently I've been finding that I prefer training later in the evening, because obviously I'm having six meals a day, two meals are just pure protein, four meals are carbohydrates, and my two biggest carbohydrate meals are either side of training. I also prefer having my carbs in the evening because that's when I tend to be hungriest and also less busy in the evening compared to the morning. I'm going to not have any carbs at all, probably until about two o'clock. From when I woke up, that's a eight and a half hour window, no carbohydrates, but I'm thinking to myself as well, I'm gonna have to do complete no carbohydrate days when I do peak week. So it'd be kind of like a good mindset to see how I fare in the mornings with no carb. It was refeed day yesterday, so I had a lot of carbs and I had about, I think I had a 160 or 180 gram carb meal at about half past 11 at night. So I think I'm gonna be okay. I'll keep doing little videos to basically update you on feelings, uh, hunger, if it's there or if I'm coping well, but yeah, I will keep you all updated as I'm sure Abs would find this quite interesting. Let's get into it. Good morning. So now I'm gonna have my pre-workout oats, which is like breakfast, favorite meal of the day, yeah. Okay, so I'm now in the car, I'm about to head to underground. Um, it's amazing what carbs do. I was feeling very, low energy, just down, uh, up until literally the last like 15 minutes after having some carbs in my system, just from that bowl of oats. It is incredible how diet can affect your mood, even when you try so hard to not let it affect it. Like, I do try hard to let it not affect my mood, and I try and put on a brave face. Sometimes you just can't sometimes, you know, you just gotta, just, it's best I find to just like take myself away, get out of people's way, you know? But yeah, now I'm feeling good. I've got my pre-workout in the car. And yeah, today is leg day. So I'm gonna film the leg day. Yeah, I've gone for tracky leg day today as well. You know, get hotter, get sweatier. And I love these trackies. They're the new ones that uh, Abby's mum got me. So you'll see them in the workout. Let's get it. That was legs, not gonna lie, I feel a bit written off. Went heavy on that last set of um, leg press. I really wanted to just squeeze every bit of strength I possibly could out. Because when you're on a prep diet, strength is one thing that obviously goes down because you don't have the energy reserves to really go. And so anytime you can try and really push for some strength, I recommend doing it, you know, just don't push to the point where you're gonna hurt yourself. Don't be stupid with it, you know? Be, always be smart with the training, but I've been doing this a long time. Sorry, I've got, I've got prep brain, I've got post leg day brain, I'm hungry. I'm gonna cook food now. I think it's sweet potato and chicken. I had that earlier, I'm having it again. We'll continue to have that daily. That's pretty much the gist of this evening. Excuse the hair as well. I need to, I know I need to get it cut, but Seeing Abby in a week, I want to get it cut nearer the time I see her so it's looking all fresh for when I see her for the first time in a couple of weeks. If I get it cut now, it'll grow for a week and it won't be fresh for her, so. Because I know the first thing she'd tell me right now is, babe, you need a haircut. I know, I know. Okay, so I thought I'd jump on quick, do a little update on how I'm feeling today. Today is a bad day for prep feelings. 
Um, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm hungry, I don't feel hungry, but lightheaded, tired, weak, just all negatives today. And it's been literally since I woke, actually it's been since last night, I've been feeling this way. Um, so I was talking to Don, um, who's kind of like, kind of assist coaching me through this last five weeks uh, and he definitely thinks that I should do an off-plan cheat meal because I haven't had one in 15 weeks of dieting and obviously I still have five weeks left. Um, so yeah, I'm having a pizza tonight which I'm fucking buzzing for. I'm hoping that will just give me that mental break and just make me feel better mentally. As well as that, I can maybe push some leptin production because fat's coming off nicely but you know, every little helps. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to jump on and just kind of update people realistically. You know, it's not all the sunshine and happiness that is. It is hard uh, and it's getting harder. Uh, I'm feeling like this more often. And yeah, it does affect you mentally. But regardless, I'm still going to the gym now. So I'm going to get my pre-workout here. Got the Strong Gamers hoodie, which makes me feel good. Got the intra. So yeah, we've got all the fixings. For a good workout, so hopefully that is what we'll have. Let's see. You, you, you're never gonna make it. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, and you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're responsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, yo. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. Don't waste your time no more. Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove. I'm gonna make my move. I'm gonna make it soon, and I'll do it because it's what I wanna fucking do. All these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is on vision Cause you hold the power as long as you're trying to make it There's no way that you make it Yeah, maybe you could fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been a couple days I think since I've done a proper vlog. Basically, as you know, I'm not doing my competitions in 2020. There are loads of different reasons why. I think I might have touched upon them in a couple of videos. So, but if not, it's, it's not, I'm not gonna get into it now. Uh, there will be probably some sort of explanation video, but that'll come either before this or after this. I don't know, it depends how Abby edits the videos. Basically, today is leg day. I'm doing a new leg day, first off season leg day. Um, I haven't, I feel good. I haven't really been tracking the last three days. I had three days off diet. Obviously I've been extremely restricted for 14 weeks. Um, and so the only thing that I kind of tracked and measured what I was doing was my fat intake. Cause I didn't want to just go absolutely mental and eat loads of fat and gain a load of fat. I just knew I needed carbs. I needed to really, really influx my body with a load of carbs, replenish all the glycogen stores that have been missing whilst being on prep. Feeling a lot better. A lot better now, feeling much more energetic genuinely throughout the day. And now my calories are going to a more tracked base. So 420 grams of carbs a day, 60 fat and about 245 protein. So about 52, 33, no, 17% 17, 17 of my macros coming from fat. I think 33, 52, I think that's the structure, I can't remember exactly. That's roughly what I'm doing. Which brings me to just around my maintenance calories, which is where I wanna be, and I'm gonna use that from, so it's Tuesday today, probably till Friday. Saturday, I might look into having like some sort of cheat meal or refeed day, depends on how I'm feeling. And then I'm gonna slowly just start increasing them because the new plan is obviously to compete in April or June 2021 from a much better starting position, a much lower body fat with the right guidance this time. So yeah, today's leg day. And now, this is what my stack is for leg day. We've got the Stimhead Pre. 
Obviously I would usually have the Naughty Boy, but this is a lot more stimulating. Powers through leg day better. I don't really care about having a pump for leg day. You know, pump is more of an ego thing for upper body. Obviously my intra workout and my little blender thingy. Fantastic. So yeah, that's the pre-workout stack for training. I've just had my pre-workout meal, 120 grams of oats, 120 grams of banana, scoop of protein, perform, and some cinnamon and some peanut butter, which was gorgeous. So that's sitting nicely. So I'm probably gonna take my pre-workout in about 10, 20 minutes, get to the gym. Uh, and yeah, then I'm gonna be feeling good, ready to go, ready to smash it, and I'm gonna film, we'll try and film this whole workout because it is gonna be an absolute killer. So yeah, I will see you guys in the gym. There's no way that you make it. Yeah, maybe you can fake it. But you're never gonna make it. Or you're just gonna take that. You can take it all back. Don't tell me you believe that. Or you're just gonna take that. Or will you fucking fight back? Hello, good morning. It's 10, 20 past 10 on Friday, the 25th of September. And finally going back up to Worcester to see Abs today, which is very, very exciting. So I thought I'd run you through my morning, what I'm gonna be doing. So basically I've already been up, I've had one meal, I had a shake. I've packed all my bags, so everything's packed up. Um, I'm not training this morning as I usually would. The plan originally was to go to the gym here, then go straight from the gym to Worcester. However, Abby has to train a client late tonight at Pure Gym Worcester. So she's got to train a client from eight to nine. And I thought it makes sense for me to go up and train in Worcester so that I can walk back with her. Also be nice to kind of be able to see what what she's like when she's training a client. Yeah, so I've got all my food also prepped up. You'd think based on this, you'd think that Abby has no food. But obviously when I'm in Worcester, I have a load of food that I buy here. I've um, got the scale and everything set even. All my protein, all my supplements from Strong Gamers here. You know, my pre-workouts, Naughty Boy, Intra, protein, obviously. Yeah, so I've got all of this here. I don't wanna have to go to Worcester and spend you know, X amount of money on food for a few days when I can just take my own from here that I've already bought and use it because it will keep in the car. It's all relatively non-perishable for a short period of time. The only thing that I'm gonna to need to get, I'm gonna to go to Tesco's on the way and get some chicken. That's why I've got the cool bag here. About 40, 40, 35, 40 minutes, I'm just gonna cook it's kind of like second breakfast meal. Number two, I'm gonna make protein pancakes. That'll fill me up nicely for the three hour drive to Worcester. So the next time I will see you will be when I'm making the protein pancakes. So yeah, see you then. Good morning everybody, I hope we're all doing good. So me and Ben are just going for a walk now. I think we're gonna get a little bit of content this Shoot. morning. Shoot morning. Yeah, Em's going back to uni today, so we just thought we'd get out of the house and have a little walk really, because it's such a nice day. Like it's actually lush, like look. We do one here, like sitting on top of the stairs, shooting up. He's so annoying. I think the last time I actually did a little vlog myself, I was, making protein pancakes yesterday. Really? I made a little, yeah. Made my success story protein pancakes. Um, so yeah, we're taking some shots already in the hoodies, and now we're going to find a new location. 
I don't know, it'll be the next Lokay. Lokay! We're not putting that in the video. <laughs> You're gonna put Hello. that in the video, aren't you? Of course I am. What's the thing, Lokay? There's, a, there's an expression that says, it's like Lokay. People say like Loki, it's not Loki, it's the god of mischief. Yeah, looking. The scenes are nice, man. Look at that scenery. Oh, absolute stunner. <laughs> the view's nice too. The cars. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first video as our couples, first couples challenge. Oh, that sounds Challenge, cringy. channel. We've done couples challenges before. Challenge, yeah. yeah. If you um, haven't seen any of those, I'm just gonna pop them here in Ben's face. Um, <laughs> yeah, for a few of our challenge videos. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the first video with our channel being a joint channel. Um, just so you know, for any new subscribers, me and Ben do live in different places. So that, if that's a bit confusing. Oh yeah, that might have confused Yeah, people. that's what I was just thinking. Like, so Ben lives in Kent, I live in Worcester, and we see each other every two weeks. So that'll be when we're gonna be filming. And we are going to try and upload a video every week. It'd be quite, it, it will be quite confusing actually, because obviously you'll have like, if we, because we're going to film separately during the two weeks that we're apart, and obviously like we'll put them into videos as and when. Mm. Oh, that was spinning. As and when. But you'll see, so like one minute you might be in Kent, and then the next minute you might be in Worcester, yeah. like in a video. I think we'll, we'll, we'll make it clear like what's actually going on, because. Yeah, they're two very, very different places. So maybe like one week it will just be a video about Ben and what he's doing, just like this video that you've just mm. watched. Um, and then also there'll be videos of us together and there might be some with just me, so. I think we do quite a lot of different things as well. I think Mark, mm. all of the stuff that's kind of, if you get any videos from me at home, cause I'm doing off season now, obviously I'm still in prep for shows that aren't that far away. So you'll be seeing a lot of like how I do my off season. So like how I'm doing training in off season, how I'm dieting in off season. I think we're just kind of hitting like different markets, aren't we? Different kind of <laughs> consumer interests. <laughs> like, so. For God's sake, it's not what? all about business. But... I did business at uni. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And like also... and subscribe. <laughs> Get all this down here. What is? Where am I going to put the thing? I always put it down, I don't put it up because that's where our heads are. That's what she said. I'm going to have to do that again now. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, what do I need to say again? Yeah. Um, yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Oh.